Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this nice equation before us here. Yeah, the first to read, if x to the power of y equal to y to the power of x and y is given to be 9x, that is y equal to 9x, then what is the value of x and y that will satisfy these two equations? So how do we get the value of our x and y to this simple challenge? So if you're new here, this is All I Must TV. If you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe. And so doing, you are helping this platform to grow. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge. So we take our selection. All right. Now let's take a look at these two equations. Let's take this as equation one and this equation two. So let's put down the equation one, which is our x to the power of y equal to our y to the power of x. Now, in equation 2, we have been given that y is equal to 9x. So, whenever we see y in equation 1, let's put in 9x. So, here we have y at the exponent here. So, this is going to give us x to the power of 9x equal to, here we have y at the base. So, we're going to have here 9x or to the power of x. Easy. I believe no competition here, right? Good. Now let's look again. Yo, let's use this to open up this. Remember the expression or the uh, law which says that if you have a, b, or to the power of c, this is equals to a to the power of c times b to the power of c. Remember this? Okay. The law of indices. So we can apply this. Yeah. So if we use this to open this, this is going to give us here our x to the power of 9 to the, uh, 9 x rather this is equal to we're going to have here 9 to the power of x times our x to the power of x easy now let's look at something here here we are having this x here yeah we are also having x as the base here so we simply divide it through by x to the power of x okay so let's divide this by x to the power of x so if we do that so automatically, so let's take this by x to the power of x, equally divide this by x to the power of x. Okay, so this, this will leave. So let's continue here and see what this gives us. On this side here, because they're having the same base according to the um, division law of indices, so long the bases are the same, then we can subtract the exponent. Look at the exponent we have here is x, and the exponent we have here is my x. So this is going to give us something sweet. So this now implies our x to the power of 9x minus x, right? Then this is equal to, on the right hand side, we are left with 9 to the power of x. So we have 9 to the power of x. Okay. Now let's watch carefully here now. We can subtract this from this. So this will give us here our x to the power of 8x equal to 9 to the power of x okay so what we do look at this we can rewrite this expression the exponent here now okay according to the law it says that if you have your m let's take m to the power of your a b this is same thing as your m to the power of a bracket r to the power of b which is same thing as your m to the power of b bracket your power of a we remember this okay so from this simple law of indices we can rewrite this so this is going to give us here our 8x rather 8 r to the power of our x is equal to 9 to the power of x so what do you observe from here so from here we just discover that the exponents are the same so we can equate the base okay so we can equate this base to this base. So we're going to have here x to the power of 8 is equal to our 9. Easy, right? Okay, we are looking for x. So we take the its root of both sides of the equation. So this is going to give us here, let's raise both sides to our x to the power of 8, all raised to 1, all over 8. This is equal to 9, all raised to our 1, all over 8. So, so this will go with this. So we now have our x is equal to 
Here, we're going to have this to be 9 to the power of 1 all over 8. But this is a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square. So let's think of bringing out square root here. So this could be written as our 9 to the power of, this is 9, please. Write it where? 9 to the power of 1 all over 2 times 1. This one is too big. Okay. 1 all over 4. 1 times 1 will still give us 1. 2 times 4 will give us what? 8. Okay, so from here, we can move this to affect this only according to this law. Yeah. So we can rewrite this as our x will now be equal to 9 to the power of 1 all over 2, close bracket, all raised to 1 all over 4, which is equal to 9 to the power of 1 all over 2. That is the square root of 9, right? And that will give us 3. So we're going to have this to be 3 to the power of 1 all over 4 as our x. So let's continue on this side again. So we're going to have a, therefore, our x is equal to uh, what we have here, 3 to the power of 1 all over 4. Easy. So now we've gotten our x to be this value here now. So how do we get our y? It is easy. Quickly, let's come to our second equation, which is y equal to 9x. So we can see here, recall, or from equation 3, recall equation, equation 2. Recall equation 2. Equation 2 says that y is equal to 9x. So this now implies our 9 times, what is our x? 3 to the power of 1 all over 4. Now, this is base 3. We can express 9 in base 3. And that is 3 to the power of what? 2. So this could be written as 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 1 all over 4. The bases are the same, so we can add the powers. So this is going to give us here 3 to the power of, if we, this all over, if we say 1, so if we add this to this, this will automatically go to give us 8 plus 1, which is um, 9. So we have 9 all over 4. So therefore, our y is equal to 9 all over 4. Good. So from here, we now have our x, y. So we now have, therefore, our x, comma, y is equal to, we have, uh, what is our x? Our x is 3 to the power of 1 all over 4, yeah, comma. What is our y? Our y is 3 to the power of 9 all over 4. Right. Easy as A, B, C. A, B, C. Right? Now, we can do a simple check with equation 2 to see or to know if the um, answer actually satisfies this original equation. So, let's take a simple check here. So, we have here, check. So, let's see. Our equation 2, we have y is given to be uh, what here? We solve our y to be 3. So, we have here 3 to the power of 9 all over 4. This is equal to, here we're going to have here, 9 there times our x. Where is our x here? We solve our s to be 3 to the power of 1 all over 4. Easy. Again, we just have to just go on and put in our, our saver. So from here, look at what we have here now. Here we have 9. 9 can be expressed as uh, 3 to the power of 2. And that's what I did somewhere here. Where is it? Where is it? Look at what I did here. So this expression ended up giving us this. So it tells me that our 3 to the power of 9 all over 4 is equal to 3 to the power of 9 all over 4. This is 9, please. I'll try to manage this space. So this shows that the answer, our x and y, 3 to the power of 1 all over 4, and 3 to the power of 9 all over 4 satisfy the original equations or the two equations. So this brings us to the end of this class. If you like something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions with regard to the approach I applied in solving this math challenge, drop it in the comment section for we are there to reply to your comments. Remember, this is all I must TV and we all here yeah, love you so much. Keep winning until we meet you again in our next class. Remember, Jigs loves you. Bye for the now.